Hi guys, just a quick video to say thank you to quite a few people who've given me some feedback on this radio control setup that I did where I was using my LiPo batteries, uh, radio receiver, electronic speed control and the motor from a hard drive. They pointed out that I didn't need a separate battery supply for my radio receiver as long as I'd got the feed from the electronic speed controller going to the right channel then the receiver gets its power from the LiPo battery so I only need one battery. Now all of those of you who are radio control experts will know this I'm a complete novice and hadn't noticed, and I certainly haven't read anything about it. Um, in my defence, I think my LiPo battery is a bit low, and initially when I'd plugged it in, I could hear it making its little chirping noise, but there wasn't actually enough to get it going, and yet it's working fine. It even works on this um, servo tester. So I don't need to plug the power supply in. So that's handy to know. If I plug it in the wrong way up, though the light comes on, it doesn't work. If I put it the other way up, so that's handy to know. So thanks for that. So Safe Khan and Bobcat Gaming definitely told me that in their feedback. I'm sure I saw more than one email about it. So thanks to those two guys and thanks to anybody else who's also told me but I seem to have lost the emails, comments. So I don't need to use my external battery pack. Don't know if it works in any other positions. Yep, seems to work in other channel positions as well. Although obviously you don't want it in other channel positions because then it's running in the mid position. So third channel is the one that's supposed to be the throttle anyway. So we learn something every day. Thanks guys, thanks very much for the feedback. Now that I've got some idea of what's going on gents, I can see it's all down to the sequence of connecting it up together. I could always go and read the instructions I suppose. It looks to me like switch on the transmitter. I've got the ESC plugged into the receiver in channel 3. Plug the LiPo battery in. So we've got some nice beeping going on. it's happy. If I do it in the wrong order then some of you sharp-eyed people will notice that the motor was actually spinning even when I got it switched off or 
got the throttle right back. So obviously I hadn't gone through the setup process properly and it hadn't found its neutral position or zero position. But doing it in the right sequence it's fine. So, thanks again guys.